meeting of the Northampton License Commission to order. Uh, all our members are present. Uh, as always, we are uh, audio and video recording the meeting. At this time, if there's any public comment from anyone who doesn't expect to speak later on any issue, uh, either on the agenda or off the agenda, seeing none, I'll move on to uh, the first item we have here, which is an application for a short-term wine and malt license for the Academy of Music, trampled by turtles, which is probably the first time that that phrase has ever been issued. It has ever been stated in this. Alice. Sorry. Uh, hi, I'm Alison Quinn. I'm the theater manager of the Academy of Music. Um, this is for uh, year and wine licenses for concerts on July 31st and August 1st. Um, the first one is a Signature Sounds concert, and the second one is with a new local producer. Um, this is for concessions, beer, and wine sales, pre show, and an intermission. Okay, so Friday the 31st and uh, Saturday, August 1st. And you've requested a fee waiver. Yes. I don't have any questions for Allison. I don't have any questions. All right. I'll take a motion then to approve these two events. Also move. Uh, second. All in favor? Say aye. 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 With a fee waiver. Thank you. Thank you. Um, number six, uh, Arts Night Out. Application to be added to the short term Arts Night Out license for the following dates uh, July 10th, August 14th, September 11th. And you are, uh, uh, identify yourself for the record, please. Yeah, hi, uh, James Clayton, and I've got a dental practice on King Street. Mm -hmm. um, we've expanded our practice and have a large number, a large area of wall space with lots of artists and patients, and many of them are interested in showing their art, so we decided to join in on Arts Night Out, and uh, we were hoping to be added to the short term Arts Night Out leader license for the following dates of July 10th, 14th of August, and 11th of September. Um, as you know, we have a large number of uh, venues already there, and uh, if you're a member of Art Side Out, and Penny Burke has told us that, that um, you know, you you would be in the same uh, class as those other venues that have been operating for a while. So, um, so we have any questions for Mr. Clayton? Uh, not for Dr. Clayton. I, I do want the clerk to um, find out if Penny might be available to speak to us about the overall arts night out um, situation at some point. Um, would you like me to invite her to the next meeting? That would be wonderful. Yeah. I, I don't I don't want to make her busy schedule even busier, but um, the original conception of Arts Night Out of, of people walking up and down Main Street. Uh, it's nothing, it's just, it's expanded exponentially and I, I want to make sure we understand um, are people walking uh, up and down Main Street and all the way down King Street? I mean, that's fine if they are. I, I just want a better understanding of what Arts Night Out is now. Because this was not what it was originally, well, as it was originally described to the commission. I just want to get an update. And I have no problem with you putting lovely pictures on the wall that I get to stare at. Perhaps. Uh, Brian, do you have any um, Then I will make a motion to add uh, um, Dr. Clayton's office at 243 King Street to the uh, short-term Arts Night Out license for July 10th, August 14th, September 11th. Can I All those in favor? Aye. Thank you. Thank you. Item number seven, um, application for short-term wine and malt license, trustees of Forbes Library. Uh, this is for a reception on uh, August 5th. Okay. Yeah, for two receptions, July 8th and August 5th. Oh, yes, I'm sorry, yes, July 8th and August 5th, okay, thank you. Tell us what's happening on these dates. Uh, July, we have, uh, actually it's just going up, Leslie Tame, Phyllis Cortell, the Greg Salmon. It's uh, graphic design, photography, and art by incarcerated people. And in August, we have photography by Dan Jones, and, and she's going to have to have a little wine and cheese and cookies and gelatin grapes and uh, getting 
so it's the same way the other events. Yeah. So, and I see you're requesting a fee waiver as well. Yeah. Um, does anyone have any questions for Ms. Coffin? No. Yeah. I'll take a motion. I move to uh, approve this application and waive the fee. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, item number eight, application for short-term line and malt license, um, uh, VFW Post uh, 8406 on Meadow Street, Florence. You have a pig roast on July 25th. And Silva, how are you? We do. I'm fine, thank you. How are you? Good. Uh, Tell us Kathy what's going Silva. on. This is our third event, our third pig roast. Um, it's only going to be from 12 to noon, and it'll be in the parking lot outside the VFW. The license would only be for uh, wine and uh, beer because all the alcohol is purchased inside the bar and is not allowed to come outside. Um, again, we'll have the parking lot blocked off and uh, we'll use the lot next door to us uh, for parking so that it doesn't create congestion in that area. And you let, you let the NPD, or you will let the NPD know about you that? Yes, yes, we always do. All right. and uh, I see you have your insurance. Here. And it will be the regular servers at the bar in the, uh, in the VFW that will be serving. I'm sorry? The regular servers that you have in the bar at the VFW will be the ones serving. Yes, and everybody lot. is uh, tip safe certified. I turned in all their numbers, okay. their certification numbers. Uh, does anyone else have any questions? No. Uh, I'll make a motion then to approve the uh, short term wine and malt license for um, uh, the VFW for uh, July 25th. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. So we have we to check. Okay, application uh, for change of uh, DBA on an all alcohol restaurant license and on a common victual license. How Chen incorporated DBA Sakura to Sakura and Vegan Palette, 261 King Street. Um, hi, uh, you're, um, could you just identify yourself for the record, please? What's your name? Just your name. Okay. okay. I want to let you know that he handed in the corporate board vote to me just a minute. Just So besides the name change, is there any other change that you're making here in the business or in the membership of the corporation or management of the license or anything like that? Are there any other changes besides the name change? Add the Sakura to the Sakura and weekend part. Okay. Sounds like he's just changing the name. Can I explain? Yes. Um, we spoke earlier, and they had, I actually spoke with the ABCC on this to make sure that we were doing it the right way. They, they have a banquet hall that they're turning into a more of a just a regular restaurant area that they'll serve the baking food. And so the other part is staying the same, and it's just going to still be the same license, the same name. It's just they're serving different types of food in that restaurant. So it's all going to be the same. Okay. So it's appeal to the vegan palate of that. Okay. Sounds good to me. Okay. We have the business certificate. We have the vote of the board and the LLC.
second poll is in favor of that time. Thank you very much. Best of luck. Form 43, which is what we use to um, uh, form the ABCC of uh, this license change to be issued here. So, I'll second that. All those in favor? Aye. <coughs> okay, item number 10 application for short term wine and malt license, Zoll Brothers Private Sellers LLC. This is a family fun walk, a memorial at Look Park on October 3rd. Hi, could you just identify yourself for the record, please? How do you do? I'm Frank Zoll. I own Zoll Sellers Winery and Shoes This is Brady Zoll, my son, our son. And um, yeah, we're seeking a, a one day beer and wine license to do um, uh, Mangan's Memorial Light. It's a five K road race that'll start in the morning and then in the afternoon, it'll be a private memorial uh, from about two to eight and we'd like to serve my wine there. I own a wine and operate a winery in Shrewsbury, so I'll be um, providing it uh, as well as, well, selling it technically. But um, I'll also be providing the bartenders as well to do the serving. I don't think I'll be doing any serving that day, um, personally. Um, but we'll also probably get a beer distributor uh, to maybe just to have a, a cans of beer available for people. But these are all of our family and our friends, as well as the people within the community. My wife's uncle was the chief of police for Hadley for over 30 years, and their family goes back to when they laid bricks for UNS uh, with their grandfather. And my mother-in-law works for the Elms. So we did it at Look Park because we're expecting a reasonably good turnout. Um, we're gonna, we'll delineate the bar area uh, with like cones and rope. Where, where, um, let me stop it there. Where, where is the bar area? Right? It's in one of the pavilions in Look Park. Okay. I don't, I don't have a map of the, of the exact location they have us, but. We pretty much got one of the whole pavilions for the whole day. And they're going to bring in some entertainment in the evening with musicians. Um, so that way people aren't just congregating in a you know, bar area. All right. And the, um, uh, all? Go ahead. the, the, um, you run a farm of winery. Yeah, you licensed me before for right. the farm winery at the so, Three County and Park. So itself. the, um, this is a different license though. Right. The assumption license. Yes, no, the, but the, the wine and malt that you would be serving there, most of it you say comes from your farm or winery? Yeah, I mean, we did, I would just bring in wine for myself. I wouldn't be purchasing wine from another distributor. Okay, uh, and then I would you said you will bring in some beer from an outside distributor? Just to give people an option. It'd be a distributor on, you know. On the list. On, on the list that's available, yeah. Yeah. Um, and we just bring in, you know, just some cans just to have right. them available for people. Right, but it'd have to be through a distributor. You can't go, oh, yeah. can't yeah. go the package, you know. Bring it in. Yeah, they with the license that I would get, they would be able to distribute it to directly to me. Yeah. Um, and then all of our proceeds that day from the race, from the bar, from the donations, all would be going um, divided between the Elms College with my mother-in-law started the foundation, as well as Children's Hospital, and they were instrumental in the, the my wife's patient care and throughout the whole life, really. Okay. So we want to try to do something like that. But uh, we're in the process of. Uh, uh, applying for the 501c3. I you know there's a lot of pieces to that puzzle before you can actually submit it. So I know it takes a while. So that's why I chose to place it myself because I have a liability, mm -hmm. you know, and um, the servers and, and so on. And with, with the one-day license, I could get you know, a couple 30 packs of beer. So. All right, again, uh, according to the way that you have Absolutely. to do it. And um, the, um, your um, business, which is a for-profit business is applying for the wine and malt license. So on our application, you'd have to designate what you just said, the Elms and uh, the other yep. uh, beneficiary of this. So yep. I, uh, believe I, had, not, I believe I had, if you want specific done. percentages, I could do that. No, 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 oh, oh. no. If, if all the profits are gonna be going to one or more um, uh, nonprofit entities, uh, charitable yeah, outfits. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I see it now. Oh, okay. Awesome. Yeah, and then this will probably be an annual event. Um, we chose to do it this this year in October. 
know, there's a chance it, it may come up in June or September in subsequent years. But um, I think with the, the level of interest from, from our family and our friends, I think this will wind up being a pretty good turnout, hopefully, when it's committing. Uh, we can do it year after year and continue to raise resources for people that are affected by this uh, disease. Okay. Uh, any uh, questions, Brian? Right. Tell us a bit more about your event. Sure. So this is the uh, fifth year that Valley CDC has run this. It's a it's fundraising event for Valley CDC's uh, services around home ownership and affordable housing. And we this is our fifth year. This is our first year at Look Park. Um, second year that we have sought a uh, one day liquor license. So we have rented the Dow Pavilion. Uh, in our application, we have marked off where. Uh, the beer, only beer, will be served. We have Berkshire Brewing Company uh, providing the beer as well as the tips server. Um, and last year we had a volunteer who checked ID. Um, people who have registered for the event will get a food coupon and a coupon for a beer um, at the end of the event. And then uh, if people want to buy an additional beer, people who have it written in the event want to buy a beer that will be are available for purchase as well. And the events, um, the event starts early in the morning, but this, we expect people to be coming back about one, so the time, we expect people to be gone by 2.30, so really the theater is being served roughly between one and 2.30. So people are running and biking? And just, just biking. Just biking. Just biking, both and on a bike it? path and then a 25 mile to 50 mile ride, so. starting and ending at Oak Park. Where does the poker come from? <coughs> Poker comes in um, where you're picking up poker uh, playing cards. So you'll pick up playing cards where you start. Uh, the long riders only have one stop. Um, we're having a stop on the bike path, um, and we get a we do get a lottery license locally here um, through the through the city that for the lottery commission statewide. So we have to pay a portion of our. It's not gambling. It's a so you're not playing poker, you're just picking up cards. We're picking up cards, but the best hand does win prizes, so it's a game of chance. Because you know, I saw the signs, I didn't know where yeah. it was. It's, off, it's taken off mm -hmm. the motor, a motorcycle pedal poker runs where they ride from yeah. location to location and pulling playing cards. And so no actual poker really played. I, just, I was curious, so I saw that. I thought, like so that. they're riding bikes and they're <laughs> sitting down and playing cards? <laughs> A couple of beers. A couple of beers, you're right. There's no, there's no beer drinking on the ride. Ryan, do you have any questions? I just saw that safe serve and insurance are both pending. Are they? I have the insurance. That, you know, we have a binder for the insurance. I have it with me. Okay. And I think we have to pay before the event, so. So you'll get me the serve safe information? The what? Serve safe. The numbers of the oh, I have is the tip. Is that the tip? Yes, yeah. it's in the application. Is it on there? Uh, that's Jason Hunter tips number. Yes, it is okay. on here. It is on here. Yes. Sorry, I missed that. So I can give you the insurance. Great. Okay. And now, or should I just send folks to the bureau office? Yes, you can have the next So it's just a binder. I just want it. I had them point out. It didn't show. Okay. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
Uh, I'll make a motion then to approve the Valley uh, CDC's uh, application here for the event on October 4th. Mark. Pending, pending. I'll second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Thank Thanks. you. Uh, item number 12, application for change of manager, health department, LLC, <coughs> 48 Main Street, Mr. Cater, how are you? Good, how are you, Tom? Good. Um, so, uh, Mr. Osant is formally changing you, yes. uh, giving up the management, and you are. Uh, could you uh, just tell us uh, what the, give us an update on the, uh, I guess, the, the corporate status of Health Department, um, LLC? I remember that you had. I different am shares. 90%. Um, the 10% is just until we work it out with the landlord, put me on the lease, and take him off the lease. Mm -hmm. So everything goes smoothly after that. Who's your landlord? Um, it's Tushar Modi, lives in New Jersey. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, the. Um, you filed with the state anything uh, that you needed to by the corporate organization, Health Department LLC? Um, since it is still staying the same, um, keeping Healthy Karma LLC as Healthy Karma LLC, yeah. uh, this is one of the things that needs to be turned into the state, and uh, that once the remainder of the 10% gets transferred, yeah. then we need to do the Stuff. You'll amend your articles of corporation. Yes. Uh, and um, so when that's done, uh, the, uh, what will the membership of Healthy Karma LLC be? Uh, 100%. Just, but just you. You yes. have no other officers. Yeah. No. Staff is now all serving to train the ones, the ones that are actually engaged in service of alcohol. Yes, and uh, well, not all of them, but they will be soon. Most of them are. Uh -huh. Okay. Are, are you tra are you yourself yes. trained? Okay. I wanted, I wasn't sure. And I'm there every day. <laughs> <laughs> do you still have the apartment upstairs? Uh, the apartment, yes, I do. <laughs> and as you know, those are not the licensed premises for which we would be approving the change of it. Right. Okay. That's okay with me. Do you have any questions for Mr. Peter? No. I'm answering the one I have. Also, 
at Dow Pavilion. It's a busy place. Yeah, it is. September 19th, could you just identify yourself for the record? Yeah, hi, I'm Rob Watson, uh, chef owner of the Lone Wolf and Amherst. Uh -huh. I think this is our eighth year doing this. Mm -hmm. Okay, and tell us how the event um, will take place. <clears throat> The usual. Um, we have different rides that lead from the Dow Pavilion throughout the morning. There's five different rides that happen from there, and they all end up back at the park at 1 o'clock in the afternoon. We open up the buffet at uh, 12.30 for folks. Uh, open it up for food, and there is beer that we provide. Okay. I see that, um, did we get the updated insurance information? I, I got an email from the insurance companies assuring me that we will get it once that one expires. Yeah, I'm doing this kind of early this year, so I usually do it in September once. My licenses are renewed, everything gets renewed in July, and the early part of August, usually I apply at the beginning of September. I didn't put the email, but I didn't get it. This is just something about one person's tips. Um, one of theirs has expired, so we provided the new one. And did you get the fee? Please. Did we get the fee? Um, no, we didn't get the fee yet. I will. Okay. Um, okay. Do you have any uh, questions for Mr. Dow? No. No. then to approve the application for uh, uh, the Lone Wolf here for short-term line of license. Second. All right. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Have a good Fourth of July weekend. Yes, <coughs> okay. Uh, we have minutes from our last meeting. Is there any changes besides the spelling of Elaine's name? Oh, they don't get their license until they pay. You usually bring it in. Fine. I, I, I didn't know how you, how you did yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. We, we yeah. Will, um, yes. Okay. Mary did the no, same thing and Lynn before her that they won't give them the license until the check. Okay. That's, that's just that's fine. Fine. Um, So besides changing spell kit, making my name, yes, legitimate. Right. Uh, I'll take a motion then to approve the minutes if nobody has any changes. I'll move to approve the minutes. Second. All those in favor, aye. Aye. Okay, new business. Hi, were you here for anything? I have a late submission for Arts Night Out. Good afternoon. Hi. Thank you for seeing me today. And you are? My name is Deborah Brubish. I'm here from Baron and Jacobs Associates okay. on 70 Old South Street. Uh, we just joined Arts Night Out, mm -hmm. and we're very excited about our first um, open house on July 10th. Um, and we do not have an artist to feature, but what we are highlighting is the house was built in 1895, and it houses our offices and design center. So we are looking to share that history with people. The house was purchased by the president of the company, Cecil Jacobs, back in 2004 from the Northampton Historical Society. So in addition to sharing the history of the house and its architectural you know, grandeur, uh, being a Victorian home, uh, we are also uh, looking to discuss, we are a design build company that has done many commercial as well as, um, pardon me, residential projects. Uh, we would be open from six to eight. We would be serving uh, like food, fruit, cheese, crackers, non-alcoholic beverages, and a small selection of wine. Uh, for future open houses uh, throughout the rest of 2015, uh, I am the sales and marketing specialist and have been uh, trying to find artists throughout the state to highlight their work. And so the next Arts Night Out, what you're saying, will uh, feature the house itself. You know, the Correct, the yes. Virtues of the house that you're in there. And then after that, you plan to have other artists, uh, artists featured 
Yes, I actually, yes, I've reached out to two. One in Hadley, Louise Timberlake Curran, who is a noted watercolorist, as well as see, um, sorry, Mike Sleeper out on the eastern part of the state. Um, he does all kinds of noted photography, uh, most notably um, a lot of pictures that you would notice from Fenway Park and beautiful landscapes. I now have the same question that you brought up earlier. Yeah, you can't join Arts Night. I mean, we have to figure out what the heck we're doing. Right. And I think Penny needs to, definitely needs to be invited to the September meeting to have discussion. Well, this one seems to me to be different from the other venues yeah. approved in not in substantial way. Um, so yeah, it would be useful to hear, you're right, it, exactly what you said earlier, it would be useful to hear Penny about the, what the concept is here, governing the whole thing, so I, I'm with you. Uh, I, this is difficult because uh, I know I'm very familiar, I live a couple of blocks away, I know, very familiar with the house and the, the uh, Baron and James does work in my neighborhood, they're working on a house right a block or two away from me right now great work thank you etc however the problem I have if you said you know you know you had a couple of uh, oil paintings you stuck in the hallway or something well there I is feel a lot painting in the home mm -hmm. um, front, but we do not have a canvas there is much art within the home mm -hmm. we are not highlighting the artist that has um, done the art, we don't have permission. There is art, definitely, there is tons of art within the design center and offices to be you, you, looked you, at and enjoyed. Uh, I'm sorry, I don't mean to interrupt you, no, but I, I, I have one of those old brains. If I don't say it now, I might forget it. So let me just simply say, do you have any framed um, pictures or photos of your design work, for example, on the walls? Uh, not those are all in notebooks. The only framed artwork is from valid artists that hangs on the walls right. as well as on the floor. I suppose I could be persuaded looking to my two fellow commissioners that this really is an artistic event. Um, well, well, I mean, I'd like to see her definitely the two that she's reached out to. I'd like one of them, you know, like to get back to them and say, yeah. Watercolors. You know the issue that I have here, both of you, and that is any business could walk in here and say, gee whiz, we want to serve wine yeah, and cheese. And that, yeah, that's, that's, my, that's my feeling is this is... We, and the, we, this we is, waive the fee, I mean, there's all kinds of things. Well, also too, I mean, this is that issue that came up a few years ago before you guys were here about mm -hmm. businesses which, you know, serve customers a glass of wine. Unfortunately, according to Massachusetts um, uh, law, it's chapter 138, that's prima facie in indication of a sale. So they can't do it. They need a license to do it. So that's why um, when, say, um, uh, uh, what's the men's buy stuff at the time? Jackson and Connor yeah. would have their thing. They have to get a license to do it because you can't, the people walking into a store where goods are for sale, if you're giving them wine, it's like you're selling wine. And um, this, although I understand, believe me, it's nothing about Baron Jacobs, but this is, seems to be different from the other. The art side, I think, is, is mostly galleries and other businesses, and they had, the way I was describing at the time, we went down the list, and you know, it was for local artists and people who go around, and they had one application, one fee, Doing, doing all that, but adding other places like this, when in this case, as it's been stated, even though the, the house may be, may be wonderful, um, it's not, doesn't seem, it seems to have crossed, seems to have crossed, crossed some boundary there, and that boundary I'd like to have Penny describe. Yeah, I, uh, I think and I would, I would not be inclined to approve for the next one unless Baron Jacobs, you know, has artists that who are doing work who will be exhibiting during the 
do we designate art sign out? So I wouldn't be inclined to say, yeah, the next time it comes around, absent any artist that's, that's uh, ready to show there, I would say no. And I can absolutely provide you with the communication that has been ongoing with the two artists that I said that I've reached out to. All, all we would need is that you would have okay. people there. And again, we've been saying that we want to talk to uh, Andy Burke also about the, sort of the general concept. This has nothing to do with you and your business and everything to do with the overall Arts Night Out concept Art. and the mission, which was much narrower and that's what the commission approved. Um, and um, what I would ask is we hold your application to, to get a license uh, pending until September. And you don't have an artist now this time, and by September I'm hoping one or more of these people will have some of their work hanging um, at your, um, your premises. Um, is there oh. not an art site out in August as well, the August 14th?
uh, Dr. Clayton was here. You heard you were here, right? Yes, yeah, okay. absolutely. So you know, at that time, you, you know, the thought was in our head, "What is this?" And mm -hmm. you're you're sort of reinforcing what, what the, if, the what questions if, that we have about the way this thing has evolved and whether it still fits the rather uh, unusual definitions we gave to this in order to grant the license. Certainly. Uh, my my thought is this because uh, I do believe in, in essential fairness, and I think. From my point of view, I'm now questioning whether I should have voted for a dental office to be part of Arts Night Out, but we did, and in the same meeting. So my question to my fellow commissioners is, does it make some sense to just approve uh, for uh, one or, uh, again, you're asking for, what, what was the application for? What date? Um, it's for the remainder of 2015. We just became part of Arts Night Out on June 19th. Uh -huh. And, you know, I've been, as the sales and marketing specialist, I've been trying to put together a schedule, get artists to match up, you know, for the months, et cetera, and put this event together. Um, and when I was originally, and I, I definitely, I understand your meaning, I understand your hesitation. Um, but when I was looking at Arts Night Out, you know, I looked at all of the different venues and it's, you know, because it was post me, we're, we're not on Main Street. And I'm like, well, I mean, we have all the way down to River Valley Market, you know, as being one of the venues on Arts Night Out. Yes. So that helped me, you know, kind of sell Arts Night Out and be a part of that community. We're very, you know, we're very excited um, to, you know, definitely bring artists in. Unfortunately, because of the timeline and because of, of summer travel, et cetera, I'm having difficulty, you know, not only highlighting the current paintings that, that sit in the office and bringing in an outside artist to exhibit. When will you have one of these two outside artists? What date will you actually have an artist who's giving you permission to showcase their work? Um, I believe for um, September and October, or August, in between August, September, October, I believe that um, my sleeper will be able to um, showcase his work in August, and Louise Timberlake Curran will be available because she doesn't return until mid-October, so she would be hanging in November. And I'm also still looking for other artists for the other months of 2015. Maybe we should go ahead. Well, yeah. I think, go ahead. can I say, yeah. uh, it's my opinion. Uh, first of all, I don't remember asking uh, or grilling. Um, I'm sure I was Penny. Uh, no, Dr. Uh, so so about who he's got. Furthermore, <clears throat> I don't think it matters. We did grant him this. We, I feel it's my opinion that we should go ahead and grant this, and then once we talk to Penny, you can pull the reins in all you want and get it back to just the gallery. I, I agree with you. And so I agree with you. Because yeah, it I'm would be so unfair right now to say, oh, you can't do it, but we just granted mm -hmm. it. So okay, I'm persuaded. Yeah, no, I, right. I agree. I think I think that's essential right. fairness, Brian. And, uh, and I think the, what the thing our is, beef we, is we not with this business. We might get the whole thing reconfigured based on the questions we have because it can be we were rather sort of close to the edge on legally what we were allowed, to, we were allowed to do by the state yeah what we're allowed to permit so if you um, uh, I guess what we're, we're saying here is that go ahead Dr. Clayton will go ahead but we're going to talk to our side out and we're going to see what this is if we need to reconfigure it and if somehow it means that some of the venues you know can no longer get it can fit in, and we may even try to get an opinion from the state about about what we're doing here. Then it might conceivably uh, come to pass. You, know, you or Dr. Clayton, other people, uh, innocent bystanders, will also be dropped from this too. But only if we feel that we have um, uh, a compelling reason to do that. Okay. I understand. And so. Thank you for your understanding and right. listening to such a long. Explanation. Sorry. Right. All right. So uh, I'll move this along. I'll, I'll make a motion that we approve um, this venue for the Arts Night Out exhibitions 
Baron Jacobs at 70 Old South Street for July and August. And um, yeah. and just for July and August. So that will give us time to associate to, to assess the whole thing we discuss with Penny. What's that? With the discussion with Penny happened at our meeting, is that before the next venue? When's the next part signed up? In September. So September 11th. Well, ours would be the first Wednesday. So, yeah. Okay. So then, okay. with yeah. a possibility of granting the third, exactly. if it goes on. Exactly. Correct? Yeah. 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 As you said, I second that. Okay. All yeah. those in favor? Aye. 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 All right. So go ahead. But understand these, these that it may come to a halt. We're thinking of different stuff from you. Sorry. Okay. No, not at all. I'm happy okay. to explain. All right. Thank you for your time. Okay. Thank you. Have a good weekend. You too. All right. Um, yeah, I, I, what I was thinking earlier. Um, Is this still? Hmm? No, it's still. Right. No, no, we're still. Yeah, no, right. no, we have a. Um, yeah, we have something. Do we have Mission Creek here? Do, what do we have? You know, and, and yeah, and the we question, didn't, we didn't want Jackson and Cotter to do this thing because of that. Yeah. Well, if they if they got an artist in there, well, well, but, but that's just certain nights of the year. I we were already right. stretching the point. I remember a city solicitor being asked about this and shaking my head because we were on the line. Did you? Okay, so you remember from that? Yes, that I do, tour. and I okay. remember, you I know. Think if you like you said, reach out to the state, and then what they say governs. You know what I mean? If you need yeah. to, or if you bring it up, is that like slapping a hornet's nest? You know? I don't well, know. see, that's that. That's a very good point. That, that, that was a point. very good point, and I think at that point in time, uh, my my recollection was we wanted to support be supportive of the arts. Yeah, absolutely. But now this is this is private businesses who. Who seek to get, you know, one day license for something have to pay money. They don't get waivers, yeah, and they have to pay for this. So, you know, this is something where people are using, I think, misusing a nonprofit status. That is true. Now, I would like to, if we do any change at all, I would like to say that, you know, maybe galleries are exempt because that's truly what it was. But going forward, if it's fine and under the file law of and it's legal to go, then all business is doing it for profit pay. Yeah, well, I, I, you think know, that's I don't know if you Yeah, can. but then they'd have to get a separate wine and malt license themselves and not be part of Arts oh, Night Out. No, so why would they do that? So Arts Night Out is actually covering with the insurance as well, right? Yes. So they're, so they're, they're tagging everybody in on the uh, yeah. certificate of insurance. So. Yeah, and then it's the question about the tip save. And I mean, there was all so many issues. I think Penny needs right. to. She's she's you know opened it up clearly to a, to, to what I would not think of as right. arts focused businesses. Okay, we will have Penny explain uh, more fully what's happened to Arts Night Out since we approved this. When was that? That was like two years ago, right? Brad, it was Brad more was than chair. That. I was going to say it, it, it had to be three yeah. plus. Yeah. So it was it was Brad and Stephanie and me. Then you were city solicitor, mm -hmm. so. We'll ask Penny. We'll look at maybe you know some of the considerations that came yeah, to mind. Yeah, what kind of risk are we putting? Are, you know, are, are we you know finding? Well, I think that all venues have to be held to the same point. There should be somebody that's served safe at least. Wouldn't you guess? I mean, yeah, and I'm I'm just saying I I think that if ABCC ever came out on any of the arts night outs that you find all across the state, mm -hmm. and I looked into it, they're all kind of. Same. They're all kind of playing other, loosey goosey. Did other cities do the same thing we did? I mean, I as, can't, far as, as far as permitting them? You know, if I could remember, I'd let you know, but I, yeah. it's lost in the mist of time. Right. I'm afraid. You know, and maybe something that just to ask Alan to, to take a quick look at it uh, without calling the ABCC, which I don't want to open up. You know. I'd like to talk to people in this order. Let's let's just tell Alan that this happened and what were what our concerns were. Cindy, would you mind just communicating that to him? Mm -hmm. Then let's talk to Penny. 
and find out what the facts are. And then are. let's talk amongst ourselves, talk to Alan again, and you know, only in the last event, ask the ABCC, you know, for guidance. Here. I, I think that's wise. What do you think? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I mean, it's, a, it's, it's been something that, that has served the arts community well, um, and most, that's why it continues to be sort of, as I said, on the, on the line in many, many communities. No, it, it's the whole thing is great, but you know, Aaron and Jacobs is, you know, I mean, you know, people do this stuff anyway for marketing, of course, and it's business, and this is what they do. Yeah, but if I start that's serving fine. alcohol, that's fine. That their 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 motivations are understandable, but does it fit into the scheme of this? Well, it's kind of like the, what the ABC three has always said: we don't want non, you know, we don't want people competing with bars. We don't want right. my little law office to be saying, hi, I'm serving wine from, you know, four to eight. Come by, mm -hmm. you know, and I've got a couple of pictures on the wall. And by the way, let's talk about what your legal needs might, might be, mm -hmm. you know. You could sit in home renovation. <laughs> I mean, I, I, can know, grab exactly. a, I can grab a, an island out here and just landscape it because in some sense I'm an artist. And then I can throw up a little tent with a table and be like, come on by, let's yeah. talk about your yeah, and then the ABC All right. I'm not approving that one. All right. All right. Well, I think <laughs> we know we All have right. an issue okay. that so needs to be further explored. Penny will come. Right. Cindy, thank you for communicating this to Alan and also for asking Penny to come to the September meeting. So, um, do we have any other business? Okay. We'll be adjourned. Second. All in favor, aye. Aye. aye.